For many, state Class B basketball is a way of life. The tournament is this weekend, and it will be the last hurrah for the event before the state switches over to a three-class system. Maya Fleck spoke with North Dakotans who've loved watching the event over the years. They have played tremendously. John Cole has been covering Class B sports since 1983 and has reported on dozens of basketball games. But he says one contest stands out. 1991, Fred Fridley, uh, Marty McDonald played for Munich and Watford City beat them by one point. First time ever they won a state B-boys basketball title. Class B sports fans like John Cole can relive some of those memories this week at the Heritage Center, thanks to the Class B basketball exhibit at the museum. You'll see the newspaper before they go and how excited everybody in the community is and how supportive they are. Like every business has to have a good luck to their team or something like that. So it's a lot of fun to look through, look through the papers and see what was going on and kind of relive that. The pictures and video and film clips highlight the athletes' dreams of making it to the tournament. Girls and boys dream about making it to the B. When they're small, they dream about, I'm going to make the winning shot. We're going to win this day B. They try to stay together all through high school, and they say, hey, when we're seniors, we're going to get to the B. They both think the stands at a basketball game are the perfect place for small towns to find community. The, the schools are so important to the communities, and the, and the sports are kind of a representation of that. Down to start the quarter, 16 down. At one point in the fourth, to tie it up and we're ahead. Class B is is kind of, it is what people in these small towns are. The Heritage Center staff wanted to highlight the event because of how large the B has been, a generational activity. It's what the state is. North Dakota is a state filled with small towns, and they love the B, and it's a part of the heart. It's a part of our state. From Thursday to Sunday, families can look at pictures and film clips of Class B history free of charge. In Bismarck, I'm Maya Fleck reporting for your news leader. The Heritage Center hopes to continue highlighting other state tournaments in the next couple of years and make the exhibits even larger. The Class B display is open to the public during regular museum hours. Kevin. 